All right, in this video, we're going to talk about regeneration, um, what it is, and what, you know, what as a driver you need to be aware of as regeneration is occurring. So, Nick, talk about what, what is regeneration? Um, well, the regeneration, um, that's a process in which your exhaust temperature uh, goes up, uh, and then what it's going to do, it's actually going to clean out. Um, the DEF uh, system um, to take all that soot and particulate matter out. That way there's no back pressure so it can continue to uh, go through its cycle of lowering emissions. So there's a diesel particulate filter that collects this particulate or soot and eventually and then periodically has to be cleaned out. And what you're describing is the process by which it gets cleaned out, right? Correct. Okay. So I'm a driver and what? how do I... How do I know what's going on at a point in time with this filter clean-out process? Well, there's going to be a couple different indicators. Um, the first one that you'll notice, um, there's going to be a light down here, uh, which looks like a little puff of steam with a um, thermometer in it, and that's going to indicate that you have high exhaust temperature. Um, so that'll come on commonly while you're driving down the road. Um, it's nothing to be concerned about. It's just saying that your exhaust temperature is uh, reaching a higher temperature um, and when that comes on that's uh, a good indication that the bus while you're going down the road is cleaning itself out um, just above that you're gonna see another um, looks like a puff of steam um, with a dotted uh, line going through it when that light comes on um, that's gonna be an indicator that a regeneration is required um, at that point you can either do a manual regeneration or you can use the Insight software to uh, do a forced regeneration. Um, also, your dash here, it'll come up at, with uh, displays telling you um, if a regeneration in, is needed and what level it's at. Okay. So you could do the manual regeneration or if you have the opportunity to get on the road and get the exhaust temperature up, it would do a self-generation or passive regeneration on its own, wouldn't it? Correct, it would. Okay. So um, when these situations occur, it's really good to see that occurring as you're driving down the road on that first light you were talking about because then you are getting exhaust temperatures up and it's doing the cleaning process passively without you having to do anything really. Correct. So if you can get out some more than just the stop and go and get out some more on the road uh, with a high, little higher speed, that'll be better for cleaning out the diesel particulate filter. Yeah, you'll notice over the life of the bus, you'll do, uh, you'll do um, a lot less uh, manual or forced regenerations um, when you have this high exhaust temperature light coming right. on. So let's now walk outside the bus and look at what would occur if you had to do a manual regeneration just so you don't have enough road speed to make that. <clears throat> So while you're driving your bus, you would have the indicator light that would come on, which was the look like the puff of steam with the dotted bar in it. Plus, on your uh, screen, it would actually tell you that a regeneration is needed. Um, so for manual regeneration, if you don't have any software or if you want to do it yourself uh, without a shop doing it, you would leave your engine running. You would come out and you would flip the switch down for just a couple seconds and then let it go and that will cause a manual regeneration uh, first thing you'll notice is your engine idle speed it'll idle up and it's a process that'll normally take about an hour to do um, we've seen them go up to an hour and a half uh, and while you're doing this you'll just want to remember that your exhaust system gets extremely hot so you'll just want to be cautious of where you park the unit before you do this um, you don't want to have it pulled up right next to a building or if you're a contractor right up next to a crop. So more of an open area for the bus to be in when you're performing this work. Yes. Right. You're on gravel, you're on asphalt, something like that. Yep. All right. So this is on a conventional bus. This is the location. Let's look at, uh, if it were a transit style bus, where would this switch be located? Um, if it was a transit bus, you would uh, open up your electrical panel. All right. 
and this one's a conventional so it won't show it um, but that same exact switch would be located right here on the left hand side all right and it would be the same process with your engine running you'd go out you'd flip it up for a couple seconds and let go and the engine speed will idle it all right so this would be either a front engine or a rear engine transit it'd be the same correct all right so it'd be in this uh, electrical control panel to, to accomplish that so if you're an hour or let's say 45 minutes into this event can you stop it and then um yeah uh you'd be able to stop it um <clears throat> a, a regeneration will automatically stop if you hit the brakes on a bus or right. if you put a bus in gear all right um, you'll hear the engine idle down right away and then it'll just pick it up from that point on next time um yeah the next time that it'll ask for it um you'd be able to go through the same procedure all right okay Thanks, man.